What's up guys and welcome to the video. My name is Marcos and I am one of the hosts here at the Scoop Troop. Unfortunately, the rest of the hosts here at the Scoop Troop were not able to make it to the premiere. Hopefully for the next season, they'll be able to come down. It was a lot of fun and I wish they could be joining me on this. Yesterday night on August 18th, I had the chance to watch the Santa Fe premiere of House of the Dragon at the Gene Cocteau Theater, which is George R. R. Martin's personal theater that he owns here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Considering only about 54 people were allowed into the theater, I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys what George said about House of the Dragon before the episode started and maybe get you guys a little more hype for what's to come. For the premiere, they only gave out a certain number of wristbands to people that were in line early enough and I had just gotten out of work about an hour before they were gonna hand out the wristbands, so I was pretty certain that I wasn't gonna get a wristband. But when I got into my car, I pretty much zoomed straight over and jumped in line. Luckily, there was only about 35 people in front of me, but knowing that there was only a select number of seats, I was pretty worried that I wasn't gonna get one. While we were waiting in line, the staff of the movie theater came out and gave everybody some coins. I believe there were money from Westeros, which was pretty cool. And we also got to see George a couple times. One time when I think he was going to eat before the show started and another time uh, on his way back. He was really nice. He made sure to just say hi to everybody and thank them for coming. To make the story short, we were able to get our wristband, which we I believe we were the eighth to last person that got a seat so super awesome that we were able to get in but we got our seat we were able to go into his theater it was a cool really cozy kind of old school feel to it uh, but they had a nice big screen and some updated seating which was nice and right before the show started George made an appearance and he had some pretty interesting stuff to say he opened up by explaining what exactly House of the Dragon is I'd be surprised if anyone there didn't know but I guess he played it safe and explained it anyway he talked about how this is a story of the Targaryen family at its height, and that this is the family that Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones uh, descended from. The first real thing that he mentioned about the show was the tone, which I found interesting. He talked about how this show was going to be a much darker show. And if anybody has seen Game of Thrones, they know that it gets pretty freaking dark. So for him to be mentioning that this show is dark, it really got me interested for what to expect in the episode and also what we're going to expect in this story overall. After touching on the darker tone, he then went on to talk about some powerful scenes that we could expect in the episode and also the rest of the season. Uh, I think that was really interesting how he mentioned that while this show is dark, the scenes are powerful. And I think what he was trying to emphasize there was that while these scenes might be difficult to watch, they are very necessary for the narrative and for the characters. As far as his influences for the show, he mentioned that a lot of this came from his love for Shakespeare and exploring the human heart. Uh, he talked about how humans are full of all types of emotions, uh, love, lust, ambition, um, the craving for power. And he really wanted to highlight that and introduce great characters into this show. He talked about how those are some of his favorite characters, great characters, characters that have both good and evil in them. Lastly, he mentioned that he has seen the entire season of House of the Dragon that they've been working on now for several years, uh, but he actually hasn't seen the final cuts or the ones that we're going to see on Sunday. He's just seen uh, rough cuts of the entire show. Uh, so he did mention, though, he's completely happy with it and he's very uh, confident in what they put out. And as I previously read, I mean, he wrote this show before he was even in talks with HBO about making the show. Uh, he was so confident he wanted to tell this story. He found the writers that he wanted to work with. And then HBO just, I guess, funded it and made it happen. I'm not going to go into any spoilers or what I thought or felt, even if I liked or disliked the show in this video. I'll be posting my thoughts about that shortly. But after leaving the theater, there was a lot of energy in the lobby. Everybody was talking about what they felt or what they liked or what they disliked. And yeah, everybody was really excited. And I'm hoping that excitement continues through the rest of the season. Here at the Scoop Troop, Jacob, David, and myself are going to be covering all things House of Dragon. So every week we're going to be posting our predictions for the upcoming episodes. And right after each episode, we're going to be live streaming our discussion and review of what we thought about the episodes. So we'd love it if you guys would come along, uh, comment, join the live streams. We want to continue to have discussions with you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for all of our future content. We don't just cover TV shows, but we also cover movies and video games. So feel free to comment any of that stuff. I can't wait to discuss this show with the rest of the guys. I'm super excited for Sunday. And yeah, let's talk more House of Dragon. See you guys.